Welcome back. Today we're going to talk about waves and use a ripple tank to demonstrate wave behavior. Ripple tanks are one of the most well-known devices created by the Physical Sciences Study Committee at MIT in the late 1950s. Very little has changed about them since they were developed, but now they're smaller and more compact, which reduces setup time and increases ease of use. Ripple tanks were developed so students can study wave behaviors in water, behaviors like diffraction, interference, reflection, and refraction. For this experiment, we're using a ripple tank that has a clear acrylic tank with a light source underneath. When partially filled, waves are projected upwards onto the opaque viewing screen. We also have three dippers here, a single, double, and plain wave dipper to create the waves. A wave is a disturbance that travels through a medium from one location to another. Another way to think about waves is as an energy transport system. A great example of that would be if you're at a lake and you drop a ball in the water, and you're hoping that the waves will push that ball to shore, but it never makes it. This is why scientists say that waves transfer energy, but not matter. All right, so we've got waves going through our water. But what happens when the waves hit a barrier? What happens to that energy? It can't just go away. We know that from the law of conservation of energy. That energy has to instead get reflected. We're gonna use the ripple tank to see that happen. Real quick safety tip. Our ripple tank uses a strobe light to better visualize the waves. Make sure that anyone using the device doesn't experience any adverse effects from strobe lights. Before we begin the experiment, we need to set up the tank. Add enough water so the dipper just barely touches the surface of the water. You can use a pipette for better accuracy. To view the waves as stationary, flip the illumination switch to sync. This causes the light to flash at the same rate as the wave generator, which makes it possible to project stationary images onto the screen. To view the waves in motion, flip the illumination switch to free. This allows us to adjust the flashing frequency independently. Use the stroke control knob to adjust the flashing to a frequency close to the wave frequency in order to view the wave patterns in motion. Now that we're all set up, let's experiment with wave reflection. First, place one of the metal pieces on its edge in the tank to observe the reflection of waves off the plate. Using the single point dipper, notice how the waves move away from the dipper and also how the waves reflect off the plate. Next, use the plain wave dipper for wave propagation. See how the wave propagation changes? Okay, let's recap. Today we learned that waves transport energy, and we demonstrated the law of reflection using a ripple tank. Remember, the angle of incidence equals the angle of reflection. What that means is, if you have a wave hitting a barrier at 45 degrees, it's going to reflect off of that barrier at 45 degrees. The ripple tank lets us visualize this so beautifully. So that's the ripple tank. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit the like button. Hit subscribe to stay up to date on all of our videos when they post. Until then, have fun learning.